Okay, okay, we are back with some more Taylor Swift. Next up is Innocent, Taylor's version, produced by Christopher Rowe and Taylor Swift. <clears throat> Let's just check it out. Let's go. Sounds kind of emo right there, dude. Oh my god. Am I still innocent? Am I still innocent? I don't think I'm innocent anymore, man. Oh. This is actually making me sad, man. I, I get it though. Like when you're young, dude, you're so innocent, and you grow up, and then you you do you do drugs, you do things, you know what I mean? <laughs> and you're no longer you're no longer innocent. But damn, dude, this shit's kinda sad, man. This part here, wasn't it beautiful when everyone believed in or when you believed in everything, Santa Claus, yeah, man, Santa Claus believing in that was amazing. Um, <laughs> and everybody believed in you. Oh my God, I don't think people don't believe in me, but like you would just hear it a lot more when you were younger. You know what I mean? Um, and plus, y'all, y'all got my back, and I appreciate y'all a lot. So thank you guys for believing me, man. Thank you guys. I love the melancholy of this instrumental, dude. It's very nice. Did some things you can't speak of. But at night you live it all again. You wouldn't be sure. Mm. A guitar man, I like it a lot. If only you had seen what you know now, then wasn't it easy? All your fly catching days. This is giving me never grow up. You know what I mean? Like, it's just that reminiscing <clears throat> on being just a kid again. And then you you inve inevitably grow up. And, you know, and it's just like life is completely different than what you thought it was when you were like 10 years old or something. Um, damn, dude. Oh. 
Dude, the background vocals are so fucking cool. Damn. 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 This song's kind of making me sad, guys. Really good. I'm curious who this is about. Herself? The repetition at the end of the song is a nod from Taylor to Kanye saying, I see you and forgive you for what you did to me. Is this is this about Kanye? <laughs> um <laughs> Yo, I did not expect to see that that pop up. Um any confirmation on that? We're gonna read the comments though, but we'll see. I hope it's not about Kanye. I think it's too late for Kanye. Damn, dude. That was a really, 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 really good song. I really like it. The melancholiness just gets me in my emotions. Um, and it doesn't have like that... I mean, I guess you can say there's like some country-esque to it. It's on Speak Now. There's going to be some country in it. But like, it feels like a more evolved kind of style. Uh, and I like it. I like it, dude. Uh, this is her response to the VMAs with Kanye. Really? Really? No Chick-fil-A sauce? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I love the Chick-fil-A sauce meme. It's so funny. Uh, where he, he went to Solitude in Hawaii, where he recorded uh, My Beautiful Dark Fa Twisted Fantasy, right? Wait, My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy is based off of the incident and the VMAs? Is it? I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I never knew that. Hello? The song is not about Kanye anymore. It's Taylor singing to herself about her past years and reflecting on it. Ah, yeah, I like that because this is Taylor's version and it's like all that time has passed. Uh, I'm sure she's more focused on herself. You know what I mean? Damn, I get that. I actually get that. I like to think she was 30. I like to think she was 32 when she recorded this one. I don't know how old Taylor is, um, but when she speak now came out, she was not 32, right? She, she was 32 when she recorded this one. Was she 32? How old is she now? Wait, Speak Now is... Speak Now is pretty old, isn't it? The tune's still growing up now. That line made me gasp. So much more sad to listen to. I'm not crying. You are. The song is now for the Miguel O'Hara simps. I hate him, but I hate Kanye more. <laughs> I don't know who Miguel is. The bridge is a career highlight. Production-wise, so mature. Their name is Who Asked Opinions. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I think the song... I think of the song as being for the villain apologist. Uh, F. Connie, the song is about Dean Winchester. Who, who's Miguel and who is Dean? Who, who are these people? I want to kind of read YouTube comments here. Hold on. What, what's YouTube saying? Third tune, still growing up. Now reflects how mature Taylor was at the time to forgive that motherfucker <laughs> how grown up she was. Uh, we love you, Taylor. Nice. Um, at 32 years old, who has a really troubled past and made so many awful mistakes, this makes me feel like I could get away from all the regrets and no matter what, I can still grow away from it all. Nice. Yeah, that's the thing like she was saying, like, it's never too late, which is like a classic thing you hear. It's never too late to turn your life around and... You know, like, true, true, um, but it's, it's going to be a long process, I feel like, for certain things that are, like, really deep. <clears throat> uh, her voice hasn't, has changed, but, brr, I'm not awake today, guys. Her, vo her voice has changed so much, but so beautifully. 
And this one feels like this biggest, warmest hug for everyone reliving the album once more as an adult who's doing their best to survive and be happy. True, that's what I'm thinking. Isn't this album like really old? Like, is it is it a stretch to say it's over 10 years old or at least 10 years old? And now everyone's like grown up now in their 20s. Uh, the amount of heartache and pain contained within this album is palpable. Imagine having to drudge it all up again just to re-record this album. I can't even imagine how hard that would be, and yet she did it so well. She showed so much maturity when she wrote this song, so much humility, grace, and forgiveness. For real. Uh, Innocence serves as a testament to Swift's growth as an artist and her ability to channel personal experiences into universally relatable music. It showcases her evolution as an artist and demonstrates her ability to create timeless music that resonates with listeners on a deep emotional level. I like that. Okay. I like it. It is, uh, like I said, it does hit. It does hit. And it does remind me of uh, Never Grow Up in that kind of concept area. Although I don't, I'm, I don't like thinking of it like it's about Kanye. I'd rather not think of it like that and just think of it with my own like perspective i guess <laughs> but but yeah man i think it's a really good song uh keep it elite keep what will i rate this track i do like it and i feel like i'll honestly like it even more the more i listen to it because it's definitely going in my sad playlist i'm going with i'm going to go like a let's just put it on a 90 for now let's just drop it on that 90 and let it chill there because it's got a lot of potential to hit even harder. So, 90 for me, man. A really good song. 